Hello, everyone. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> All right, everyone. So I had some fun with this one. So guys, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using an angle brush and some black gel liner. I just used my Ingla in number 77. I just added a couple of drops to the mixture to kind of make it go on a little bit smoother than what it is. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I actually did this look twice. The first time I tried to do it with the um, white makeup and then apply my eyebrows, but then it wasn't working out. So I decided to do it this way and it actually worked way much better. Now that I have my eyebrows filled in, I'm just gonna take this professional cream makeup in the color white. I purchased this from the store and I'm just gonna etch out my eyebrows. Now I'm going to apply some face cream onto my eyelids and then I'm going to allow that to dry before I move on to the black eye makeup. Now I'm applying some more of this face cream onto my forehead and I'm going to continue to apply this throughout the video in sections since all of my face is going to be completely white. I'm just going to do it in sections so that it can dry and then I can apply some more so I can give it a deeper white color. For the first color I'm going to apply on my eyelids I'm, is going to be Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and just apply that onto my eyelid. This look does not have to be neat at all. With that same blending brush, I'm just going to follow up that color using my Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and my Huda Beauty Man Eater. And I'm just going to mix those two colors together and apply that right on top of Cream Boulet. Taking an eyeshadow brush and my Makeup Geek Corrupt, I'm going to apply that on top of my eyelid. Um, first, I'm going to spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. Now, I'm taking these steps because I want the undertone of the black eyeshadow to have a hint of red instead of it just being a black eye. Now, I'm taking a medium-sized blending brush and I'm just going to blend those colors together. Now that I'm finished with my eyelids, I'm going to apply some more of this face cream onto the rest of my face. Now I did notice that it's best for you to use a foundation brush using this cream because if you use a kabuki or a beauty blender, it will lift the makeup off of your face. Now that that has dried up, I'm going to take a small blending brush and apply some of the cream brulee and now I'm going on top of that with the um, Cocoa Bear and Man Eater. So I'm just pretty much doing the same steps that I did on the top of my lid. Now I'm just going to line my eyes with some black gel liner. As you guys see, I'm just going to apply another thin layer of my face cream. Thank you. 
After my face cream has dried, I'm just gonna take a red lip liner and sketch out the swirls on my cheeks. I'm just doing this before I apply um, my red <laughs> liquid lipstick. Now I'm just taking some red liquid lipstick and applying it on top of that outline that I made for myself. Now if you're going to do this with makeup, I would recommend for you to use something that dries and will not move. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process just on the other side. Now I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush that I use for my um, eyelids and apply some black eyeshadow onto my nose to kind of contour my nose. Now as I was doing this, it is very dark and I didn't like that so I just applied some face cream. To kind of erase it, I let it dry and then I'm going to redo it. As that dries, I'm going to take my blending brush that I used to blend out that black eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply some black eyeshadow around the red swirls. Now I'm going to line my lips with the same red lip pencil that I used before and then I'm going to go on top of that with the red liquid lipstick that I used for the swirls. Now as you can see I did extend the corners of my mouth out a bit to kind of give it that exaggerated feel because that's how it looks on Jigsaw. Now that my nose is dry, I'm going to take that blending brush and just blend down the black eyeshadow to contour my nose. Now I'm just going to make Jigsaw mouth, you know, kind of like a dummy by putting the straight black lines. Now you guys can take any liquid liner to apply these lines. I would just say be very careful with making the lines because you do want them to be straight. However, if you mess up, you could fix it and you'll be able to see that in the video because I did mess up. <laughs> and just make sure you apply the line to the other side of your mouth. Now just have a quick costume change and voila! Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Remember you guys, you were made for more. Bye!